Hello, hello, hello. Well, Lorena is back. Back with the car vlog. Whew. Oh my God, I'm strangling myself. My choker is literally choking me. <sighs> I try to like be edgy and like really cool and then it's just kind of backfires. Anyway, I'm not tanned as well. I literally just bronzed my neck and my hands to match my face. So sorry about that. <laughs> Anywho, any whore. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel YouTube vlog. I'm gonna be dry. I'm gonna yeah, I should probably just go to my so let's get this car on the road <laughs> Fuck I need to service it. That bleeper has been going off for a while now, not gonna lie You know, we'll get to it when we get to it, you know So huns, how are we? I hope everyone is well. I am not. I just thought I would do this video as a little bit of a nice fun story time video just let's have a bit of a chat really to be honest i normally plan my videos weeks in advance and i was going to film a fashion -y video but i still will film that eventually but i just wanted to have a chat more so um i just wanted to okay let me fucking live it's my channel god damn let a bitch live so basically everyone loved my last drive with me which is why i'm doing another one i think they're super fun to film and they're low maintenance for me because i can it's a multitasking thing you know i can just drive and also get a good video in natural lighting okay so we can't really control it but it's it's all right like and there's no like production like i don't have to really set anything up oh i probably came out too close there yeah he's oh he's overtaken me uh rude rude honey it's a 50 zone and you're going 70 i don't think so wow i'm actually really put off by that it's not a good start to my drive with me is it i hate driving through the town with a camera because i feel like everyone can see it, but realistically they don't know what the fuck it is but still when you're in lights and people have time and they can actually look into it then i get kind of worried i never said we were going oh okay i'll tell you where we're going so we're actually driving down to sligo to tober curry because my friend nicole has moved home from dublin so i'm gonna visit her we're going out for the day we're going to balna we're gonna be shopping we're going to the big pennies i am so excited i love the pennies in balna it's one of the best pennies in the west west in the west don't care what anyone has to say, fight me over it. Oh, you're in a rush to get to Tesco area. All right then, beat me for that. Fucking Tesco, imagine being in a... Oh, I'm gonna make this red light, yes I am. I'm... Okay, so I got asked when I talk about how I passed my driving test and um, basically how I got my car and just like how to get on the road and go. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about, which I am not the best role model for this, lads. I cannot lie, I have severe road rage. I'm not a great driver. I've, I've clocked up the miles, to be fair, because I drive every single day of my life, except Sundays, but <laughs> I really cannot deal with Sunday drivers, so I just try to abort the road on Sundays. I am a fast-paced gal, and I need to be going quick. I'm like a, I need to go. I'm always late, but I'm always in a rush. Do you know what I mean? I'm so happy. I was having a mental breakdown last night and I just decided, you know what? To cure me, I'm gonna do what I like. Bridge. I'm gonna film a video. That's what I'm doing. We're having a therapy session with Malarina. A car therapy session. First thing, I, I, I had a breakdown last night. I had a meltdown. I cried myself to sleep. I'm not afraid to admit it either. And I, it was because I felt lonely and I was like, oh my god, I'm so single and shit like that. So I am gonna be talking about that because that is my brand. Is it not? Is that not my brand? Wow. But yeah, I'm gonna be talking about that because a lot of girls were actually asking me. I had some girls who broke up with their boyfriends recently and they were messaging me and it made me feel all sad and everything. So I think every, I just took on everyone's emotions last night and then it amplified my own and I couldn't detach because normally like I can detach if I really want to but I couldn't detach and it, it I cried myself to sleep. I will get right to that. I'll do that at the end of the video because then you have to watch through it or you can skip ahead if you want to. But I think you probably want to hear me talk about how I got on the road in this vehicle. So let's let's fucking talk. Really need to stop starting but I, I, I can't. In 2017, on the first day of 2017, I made a video. Well, I'm not sure of the exact dates, but it was meant to be on the first day of 2017. It was like a recap of 2016 and what my goals are for 2017. And in that video, I said this. Mm -hmm. 
life. Okay, probably my biggest goal aside from YouTube for the year 2017 is to buy a goddamn car. I have been saving for a car for the longest time. I just need to sit my test. I'm still waiting for my test and then hopefully I pass the first time and can go forth and purchase the automobile. Yeah, I said that. I said, you know what, I'm buying a car this year. I said it out in stone. I was like, it's gonna freaking happen. Like, I, I didn't know, but I believed in myself. That is the first step, my friends. Believing in yourself. So, I believed in myself. What happened? I got it. Not the way I thought would happen at all. It happened, and I got on the road, and I got my beautiful, beautiful Gigi. God bless her soul. How did I do that, you may be wondering. Well, I sat a theory test, not once, not twice, but three times because I don't exam well, to be honest. The first time I went to sit my theory test, I actually turned up an hour early, which is unheard of for me, but I turned up a day late. So I was an hour early, but a day late. I obviously missed it. 45 euro got down the drain. I had to like rebook and I was so sad, like I cried all the way home. Like it wasn't great, not gonna lie. So obviously I just failed that one by default because I couldn't sit it. The next one, I got 34 out of 40 and to pass you have to get 35 I think and I got 34 so I was one incorrect answer wrong and that was another 45 euro down the drain then I sat it again and I got 38 so two away from the high mark that you could get so I was pretty proud of that not gonna lie yeah I passed it that time and then you could finally like is it is it then you can apply to do your exam like your actual driving Exam. So yeah, I applied for that. I was with one driving school and we did it in June, which is actually the fastest town in Ireland, if you didn't know. Which I think is why I failed because I just couldn't keep up with the pace. It was it was that it's it's meant to be easy enough to pass it in June, but I obviously not for me, not for me at all. Your one was like I didn't know if you were gonna stop at whatever stage, and I was shocked because my driving instructors had really built up my confidence. Like I thought I was unreal. I thought I was so good at driving and I was shit. I was very annoyed. I remember like him being surprised how angry I was. I was like, don't be surprised I'm angry, I'm an Aries. Failed that one and then I was like, right, this isn't gonna work out. So I got another driving instructor because although it was my fault, I felt like a change would be good. So I went with a fellow who's very reputable in the town if you want to let, if you want to know if you're from Calabaris, I'll tell you. I don't know if he's still doing that. My brother did it with him and passed first time, so he good. I did so many lessons, guys. Like, I don't know how much money I spent on lessons. I was doing like two hour lessons to tune them back, like weekly. And then I re as soon as I failed that test, I rebooked my next test the same day. So I wouldn't have to wait as long. And I went on the cancellation list and I was ringing them up loads looking for a slot, you know how it is. Got my slot and then I literally did a lesson every week. Like I don't, I don't even want to think about how much money I spent on those fucking goddamn lessons. They're expensive, they're like 35 euro a lesson, aren't they? So hella expensive, but you can't, you have to do them. There's no two ways about it, you have to do it. This car is right in the arse. Just overtake me, hon. It's not that hard. I'll pull in, look, there you go, there you go. You have all the road there. I look like a bit of a cone, do I? I always feel like my head looks way too uh, small for my body. I, I don't know. Good enough lighting, isn't it? Yeah, we look, we like, we stand. Thanks, son. <coughs> so then I didn't cast the bar and I passed, but the driving instructor told me I barely passed, like I passed by the skin of my teeth and he was like, you're lucky to pass. He was from my town though, so I think that went in my favor. And also he probably felt really sorry for me, but you can't say shittle to me because I actually passed, so Talk to the fucking license, okay? Passed then in the June of 2017, I think. So June this year, 2019, I'll be able to take off the end plates. You know the flappy one that's always falling in the back. A lot of that will be coming off. She won't be flapping anymore. You'll be free. Gigi will be looking well. Passed in June 2017, but I didn't start driving straight away because I actually moved to France. That was the summer where I worked in France and I worked in a campsite. And that is a whole other story time. If you want to know about that, let a girl know. And when I came back from France, that was in September, and I started into the final year of college in Manuf. I got my car then in October of 2017. Yeah, me and Gigi have been going strong since, and I didn't pick Gigi, okay? Gigi picked me. I did not, like I'm sorry Gigi, but I did not want a blue colour car. Like I love, I love her now, I love the colour, it's amazing, you're amazing Gigi. You know I fucking love you on my heart. Mm. I was adamant I wanted a white or a black or a silver or a grey car because 
I didn't want it to clash with my outfits. <laughs> Which, it seems silly, okay? But I have an aesthetic and I like my aesthetic. And blue is, like it is now, obviously, but it wasn't really my aesthetic at the time. I didn't even really wear much color, to be honest, back then. I was going through things and I just wore like basic ass, like not colors, like black and white is shade, like this. So I didn't even really wear color that much, to be honest. But anyway, I saw Gigi and I looked at Gigi and I wasn't gonna spend as much as I was going to, but Gigi was worth it. And I looked at her and I was like, man, will we? Will we have a little seat? Will we go sit in her? And we went and sat in and I was like, I can't get out. I am not, like, I am not leaving this garage without my name on this car. No one else is having Gigi. She's mine. I was like, I didn't know whether I wanted to spend that much money like on a car, my first car. But thing is, this car will last me for years and years and years, like until she's gone to the bone. Like me and Gigi will be together forever or until I can afford and want to upgrade. But it just seemed to be working out. All the stars were like, this is for you. So yeah, before Gigi was christened Gigi, mom said I would have to call her a boy's name because she was blue. And I was like, no, fuck that stereotype. I'm calling her Gigi after Gigi fucking Hadid. Queen or Gigi Gorgeous, either. It's just a Gigi, to be honest. Me and Gigi, we'd be happy together now. It'll be October 2019. It'll be two years we've been together. And oh my God, we'll have to do something for for the anniversary, won't we, Gigi? I don't know what we'll do yet, but we'll, we'll plan something. Might go, might go for a nice drive-in cinema vibe. That'd be fun, wouldn't it, Gigi? We'd like that, wouldn't we? Yeah. The advice I would give for saving is you need, I have multiple bank accounts. I don't have one account. I have like five. And in those accounts, I have different accounts. So I have like savings accounts within that bank. My money is all in one place. It's easier to spend. If your money is spread out in different places, it's harder for you to spend. Because like the effort, you have to go moving and transferring and like, you know, which to be honest, isn't that hard to do with like online banking and stuff. But I just find if I split my money up, I will save more because I'm like, eh, no, it's not my card. I'm like, unless I really need to transfer money over, I won't. Normally when I get, I have like standing orders set up. So whenever I get paid, all my money goes into different places, which I'm saving for lots of different things. I treat myself. Don't get it twisted. I like to treat myself. I enjoy what I earn and I work for it. So I obviously enjoy myself, but I need to have savings behind me or I don't feel safe. <laughs> Even 25 euro a week doesn't sound like a lot, but if you can, that adds up. Like that's 100 euro a month. Give yourself so many, give yourself 12 months. That's a, like a grand and a half. And then over summer, you'll probably work more so you'll be able to save more during summer, you know? If it helps, set a car is the background of your phone. So every time you look at your phone, you're like, oh, car. And it'll kind of get you on that vibe wavelength of imagining car. I will touch on the law of attraction and manifestation and everything like that because I personally think that you have a huge part to play in it because I spent ages, like I have like notes and notes like written of describing what it felt like to be a car and what it would feel like to have my car and everything I would do in my car. I imagined the car on the driveway. I had bought car air fresheners and I didn't have a car. I had an Amazon list of everything I wanted in my car and I didn't have a hint of a car around me but I acted like I did and I feel like that really helped me get on the vibe that I needed to attract the car, if that makes sense. I know that sounds really wishy-washy to people, but if anyone is interested and they feel like that will help them too, it's always something you can try. It doesn't harm anyone is what I say, so you may as well. But yeah, that's how me and Gigi came to be. Oh, fun fact also, does anyone else have to have like plans in place for certain things? I always do I, like wherever I am I always think about like if there was an apocalypse or if someone was kind of gonna rob me or attack me what would I do whereas I always need to know where I can escape or like the weapons in the room that I could use to hit someone I don't know why but I need to be prepared for stuff like that and another thing is I have in my head someday I'm gonna be asked to participate in a rap battle and I cannot not win or at least be good because I, come on I listen to a lot of it I know I'd be good so I have like raps prepared in my notes in case I'm ever asked to enter a rap battle I have them there you know you know how like youtubers release music I would love to release 
a funny rap. Like just not any, obviously not fucking serious, but not cringy either. Like I'd want it to be kind of good, but I definitely could see myself doing a nice fun little music video. A Malarina Seven Rings type of ish would be good, no? <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's get into my mental breakdown, shall we? Because that's, you know, clickbaited. I'm sure it was clickbaited. I don't know what I'm gonna clickbait this video yet, or if I am even arsed to, to be honest. This is literally Malarina soul. I cried myself to sleep last night, and how do I even approach this subject? Was not in a good mood. You could say that. I was really dead. I was talking with my friends. We were talking about like what our goals are, like career-wise, uh, friendship-wise, personal and relationship. When I got to the relationship part, I lost my fucking shit because I realized I am doing so well in all other areas of my life right now. Like I'm, you know, my career is going well. My YouTube, I'm loving it. I'm loving like my creative side. I'm on the road. I have like opportunities and collabs and stuff. Stuff are cropping up all the time for me now, so I'm very, very happy. I'm making good progress. Um, could always be a bit better, but sure, we're working towards it. You know, family, good friends, love my mates at the moment. Fucking love me mates. No, I do. I really do. And college is going well too. So uh, to be honest, I'm doing pretty well. Self development wise, I'm, I'm always, I'm always doing well. Relationship wise, <clears throat> it's upsetting because I like to be in control of my life and obviously you can't control that shit I wouldn't want to be in a relationship that I controlled or where I was being controlled either way like I preferred not to have to deal with that because they shouldn't be they should be so freaking natural but like you know your friends like if you don't want to be around someone you can control that you can say goodbye but you cannot make people love you and I know that sounds really blunt and horrible but it's the truth and you shouldn't freaking force shit which hurts me because I don't want anything forced. I want true love. <laughs> and I don't know if I'll ever get it because the thing is like I've been so in love with love since I was like a young one. And I always had it in my head like the kind of love that I wanted and the kind of relationship I wanted to be in. And like my parents are divorced and that's just not what I want. Like obviously divorce happens, you can't. Like if you need to get divorced, get fucking divorced. It's better for everyone. Like don't be not divorcing just for the sake of staying together because that's not right either. I was just like thinking about it recently and I'm really not on any spectrum of being any closer to a relationship. Like I don't want to force shit, but I also don't want to sabotage stuff. And it's really, really hard because it's so delicate and each situation is so individual that you just can't know. Like I offer dating advice all the time. I'm a messed up fucking hun. Like I haven't really, ha like what is a successful relationship to be honest? Like is that when you stay together forever and get married? Or is it when you just have a good time and then eventually it ends? Like everything, unfortunately, that is life. I am not sure. So I was thinking about last night and I was like, fuck, like I am lonely. Got with someone last year. He was like saying, oh yeah, well you've girl her potential, but like I don't want a girlfriend. And I was, but then I was like, well, then I don't want to be with you because I want a boyfriend. And then he was like, well, I never said that you won't turn into a girlfriend. So really I should not have been getting, I was getting played. I have no idea what the fuck is happening with my life. And there's far too many men in luminous costumes for my liking. Yeah, I was lying in bed and I was talking about all this deep shit and I was literally laying my whole heart and soul out. I felt very, very vulnerable, which I don't care like about feeling vulnerable. Like I am what I am. If you don't like it, then please leave me alone. I don't want you either. I was like, fuck. Like I like I know it in my head but I never really say it out loud everything that I want like you know I want a family I want a good husband I want kids and I want to be so close to them and everything like I never actually really talk about it but like I know it in the back of my head you know and I laid it all out and I was like fuck that's what I want it kind of fucked me up because I was like I'm nowhere near that like I, oh my god like I'm 21 so like I know don't worry like I'm young there's loads of time to find that but like I'm not even like going on dates or like whatever because I'm I like want to like meet people and I want to like I need like cuddles like I'm such a cuddly person I want to be loved I want to love but I also don't want to give my time to people just for the sake of it like I just want hugs sometimes like, it's more like I want like a connection with someone or whatever I also just hate 
wasting time talking to people if it's not going to develop into anything which I know is stupid because how are you going to know like you have to be relaxed about the whole situation but when I think about it and I'm like no I'm such a fun person to talk to or to date or whatever and like I don't no one deserves that unless they are in it in it you know I get like such intense crushes and when I start liking someone everything in my head changes and because I'm so goal orientated and I'm like a chaser but I don't want to be the chaser I want to be the one that gets chased this therapy session is really helping by the way if you couldn't tell I'm enjoying it I think it's chill like I think it's good that I'm aware of this you know at least I'm not like you know I just cried one night and now I'm getting it off my chest and I'll feel better you know it's great I love YouTube I love what my channel has become <laughs> that's currently what I'm going through like I don't really know I'm gonna be talking about this a lot more at the confidence class uh, next Saturday or when this is uploaded Saturday coming it's the 30th of March it's in the South Court Hotel uh, tickets are 20 euro but like there's so many people going and um, like influencers and people that are talking about confidence it's not like we're not trying to sell you shit like we're literally trying to get you more confident and get yourself worth where it could be because all the people that are going are really really inspiring and you know it's i'm so excited i get to meet all my friends again i love i love my social media friends because they get me um on a different level to other people in my life because we do the same ish you know yeah i don't know if i have anything else to say on love other than it's not happening for me at the moment and i wish it was i get lonely i do i get really fucking lonely but then i just need to remind myself listen sometimes crushes they come and they go you get into them for like two weeks and then you move on and it's fine and your love life is just one part of your life and the rest of your life can be doing well you can't control if you're gonna meet someone or whatever you just have to be open to it so yeah i i'm blathering now i don't know what i'm saying but basically yeah i'm so proud of myself that i didn't cry i'm actually talking about this in a nice way yay go me because last night i was a mess i literally had a breakdown on the phone to my friend wow people are confusing man i hate it this pep talk to myself i'm just telling myself to relax the fuck out i don't need anyone i just want someone i'm so i'm killing it but i'm also kind of like i don't i would love someone and i want like to make them better and them to make me better but i also don't want to depend on them either I feel like i'm always gonna be working on myself and I don't know, I feel like I intimidate boys as well. Like, I feel like they're hella intimidated for me. But that's a good thing. Because I don't want weak boys. No. Mm -mm, not for me. I don't want no weak boys in my life. I'm done because I'm nearly at my friend's house. So I'm going to go. Thank you so much for joining me on this little drive with me. Sorry there was no music. There probably should have been music. Oh my god, okay. I. It's a different day. It's Friday. I recorded this video on... Um, you know we'll leave this on for color i recorded this video on like wednesday and I, it's like friday and i'm literally just back from my break in work and i'm there's nothing set up like i'm just using natural light um, and i'm gonna hurry because i know this video is gonna be long basically i watched back the footage of me uh talking about my breakdown <laughs> i haven't edited it yet but i've watched it back and since then my feelings have changed i think when i there's the whole thing about having areas of your life and you know how satisfied are you in each area but the thing is the area that you can't control the love area like it's okay to have goals in that area but at the same time it is about time and i think i just kind of realized i'm 21 and actually i am far too busy for anything then now anyway and i want to be i want to use my young time my young time my time while i'm young to be selfish and spend all my energy money yeah energy and money basically and time on myself to really invest in myself because i'm fucking worth it <laughs> just make a life for myself that i'm happy of because that's always going to be a section that i'm going to want to fulfill and be happy in but it doesn't need to be now do you know what i mean like i feel like i was having a breakdown because i was like oh my god like everything else is good and then there's just one thing and it's all just bad and i'm just oh it's okay okay boss ass bitches we have a lapse we have a lapse a relapse or whatever every now and then and it's okay to be upset basically but i just i feel like ariana grande did that interview and she was like i'm not a crushy person i am i really am and like it hits me hard like i'll get like intense crushes because i'm very like i'm very direct like i'm a very direct person i i need to know what the story is i'm yes 
or no can do one thing at once you know open to boys or close to boys it's very hard for me to be like open but still working on myself because then if i'm talking to someone i'm not putting all my energy into myself that's not what i want right now well i would like that in the future obviously but right now i think the best thing for me to do is to just put all my energy into myself and make me the best person that can be and if someone comes along someone comes along but i feel like i really need to like not be open <laughs> to people for a while you know i need to be i need to be unavailable for a good while because i feel like i was and then i kind of missed like having someone so then i was making myself available again but i wasn't really talking to anyone so then i just felt shit whereas i feel like now i'm going back into the cycle of no don't want anyone i want to be on my own i want to spend all my energy by myself not in like a loner way just in like a selfish kind of a way because that can be good too and it's important especially at this age to be selfish and most lads at this age to be honest aren't like looking for something that's like concrete or whatever which is chill too like everyone has their own everyone has their own ideals in life and what they want and it's all to do with like age and time and everything like that which i understand so yeah i think i was just having a bit of a Whoo! but it's fine we're back on track now guys Malarina is back in the house i'm sure he'll be so happy to know that i'm back on course now and unfuck with the bulls my goal in life is to be unfuck with the bulls and i think i am right now i've gone back to my cold heart itself i know I'm joking it sounds like both sound really extreme don't they but I honestly don't mean it like that I just mean as in kind of like I don't really know what I mean <laughs> but I do but I, I find in, I literally was only thinking about this so I'm finding it hard to like put into words but you probably understand I was getting upset that I don't have one but I think I just need to remind myself that I don't actually want anyone and if I think about it if I was seeing someone now like that would like I would have to talk to them so much I would have to go and meet up with them all the time and like I'm in college right now and like I come home from college I have to go to the gym I have to get my work done and then I have to do my YouTube or my freelance or whatever and then I have work as well three days a week and I just have a lot going on and I one of those would compromise if I was to be seeing someone right now that doesn't sit well with me because I want to excel at all of that because I'm putting my energy into that and nah nobody's compromising my shit right now you know I, I only want to go up like I don't want a setback because I'm like oh you know I need to put my energy into this person now like no I don't want like that's what you should do if you're seeing someone and I just don't want to do that so I shouldn't see anyone do you know what i mean not that there's anyone interesting anyway lol imagine i don't know maybe when i finish college i will reconsider and see if i have more time for boys but i also just don't have time for people being stupid either as in like boys being stupid and like not you know like i don't have time for that either at all so yeah basically that's my video what this is the weirdest video i've ever made in my whole entire life i don't know what this video is and i'm really sorry if it's not your usual cup of tea what you will come to watch me for but i just needed a little therapy vlog so i gave it to myself and it's my channel and i'll do what i want <laughs> but yeah thanks so much for watching if you would like more therapy vlogs whenever i'm having a breakdown let a girl know because i feel like it's going to be relatable to a lot of girls um which is another reason why i'm doing it, it might help you if you're feeling like in a similar way or whatever we, we just all need to get on our grind and in our bag that's what i want not to be dealing with someone else or giving someone energy and missing out on what i could be focusing on myself at this age at this present moment in time so yeah that's me being deep for today i'm gonna go get myself some scrambled eggs and a cup on tea and enjoy my life enjoy airy season happy airy season everybody since i filmed airy season has started which i think is why i'm so i've already had such a productive day like i've just been boom 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 i've been getting so much shit done and i think this is why i'm, I'm getting better because it was like the end of pisces season and i literally that break time was coming all pisces season like but now it's it it's, it's done it's over we're back on track keep the fire in your fucking bellies and if anyone noisy burn their house down okay let's go <laughs>